We're here this morning for the simple reason that time is running out for the men and women of the construction equipment industry. While the broader economy may have begun to recover from the Great Recession, our industry is still in a depression. There's nothing else you can call it when a major sector of our economy has lost 37 percent of its jobs and an industry's economic output has contracted by 40 percent over the last 18 months. That's why AED has teamed up with the Association of Equipment Manufacturers to launch this Start Us Up USA campaign. Over the past several weeks, our campaign has moved across the country from Las Vegas to Chicago and now to the nation's capital. We brought our industry's message from Main Street to Pennsylvania Avenue, from people who've been affected by this downturn to our elected officials here in Washington. The national economic output of the equipment industry has contracted by nearly 40 percent and resulted in the loss of 550,000 jobs. That's 8 percent of all jobs lost in the United States since the start of this recession, and that's what all these orange flags you see around you represent. We've planted 5,500 flags in the ground. Each one represents 100 jobs that have been lost. The construction equipment industry, which includes manufacturers, dealers, and maintenance providers, has shed a staggering 37 percent of its workforce over the course of the recession. To put that in perspective, auto manufacturing and dealership jobs are down by 16 percent, while job losses in the finance and insurance industry amount to 6 percent of their workforce. Now it's my pleasure to introduce a great leader, a man who clearly understands how important the highway bill is to ending the depression in the construction equipment industry and to our prosperity as a nation. House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee Chairman Jim Oberstar has tirelessly led the efforts in Congress for the past year to enact a multi-year authorization bill that will put people back to work while making critical investments in roads, bridges, and transit. Mr. Chairman. Thank you very much. Thank you.